Welcome to a new video in my home automation series and today I want to talk about something that I've been asked in the comment section quite a lot in the past couple of years and the question simply is whether it's possible to set up a scene which is only going to execute overnight let's say after sunset and before sunrise so typical you maybe have a motion sensor or you have a door open and close sensor that you configure to turn on your porch light let's assume that this is your porch light so when it opens or when motion is detected then it turns on and then maybe after a time or when the door is closed then that gets turned off and normally if this is some sort of light you only want this to operate in the evening when there is dark and in the scenes it is possible for example if I open the scene it is possible that you specify whether that scene should run for 24 hours or if you turn it off you can specify the time and you know the hour and the minute of the day when it should be operational but unfortunately you cannot specify the from and to to like sunset and sunrise and if you live in the part of the world just like I do when the daylight changes a lot then maybe you would need to uh, if you are using a fixed time, you would need to update that every two weeks uh, during the, you know, the spring and the autumn because then the daylight changes so much. But now, thanks to some addition that was recently added, recently I mean probably this year, to the EVLink app, now it is possible to do. I'm going to use this scene which is uh, handling this door sensor opening and closing and turning that uh, light on and off. But the same technique can be used for other scenes as well. And if I go into the effective period, then of course there is no change here. In the from and to, it's only possible to specify uh, a particular hour and a minute. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it at, on 24 hours and I'm just going to use a different scene in order to operate the sunset and the sunrise. So I go to plus and I go into the triggers and here you see that on the trigger side there is an option to add sunrise and sunset so I'm going to select that you pick your current city you pick sunrise and then save and then on the action side we are going to use this new option which is as I said fairly recent and I haven't used it in any of my videos which is the smart scenes and you say enable disable auto scenes and I'm going to pick the door opened and because we said it's sunset so when the sun is up we don't want this automation to work so we said disable and actually you can add the second one as well so smart scenes enable disable auto scenes and then door closed because we don't want I mean I have a scene for when the or the sensor opens and when the sensor closes so I think it's probably better just to disable and enable both of them at the same time so I'm going to give it, the, give it the name so disable scenes after sunset sorry sunrise good and we also create a pair for this one where the action is sunset sunrise and sunset and save and I'm going to do the opposite of what I've just done before so when the door close is going to get enabled and also the door opening is going to get enabled and enable scenes after sunset and actually that's it so instead of configuring the sunset and the sunrise on the individual scenes you just leave the scenes on 24 hours and you create additional scenes which are going to enable and disable these scenes that's the only way you can do it but to some extent it it might make it a little bit easier to manage because you can always decide which scenes are going to work you know only after sunset or which scenes are going to be 24 hours so by default everything is 24 hours and by modifying these two scenes adding stuff here on the action side you can just move more of your scenes into the overnight scenario and of course if you remove them then they are going to be enabled 24 7. so that's it i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video